What's up guys, coming at you with another video on this Friday. Just got done working out. It's been a solid morning so far. And uh, I just wanted to talk about the title of the video. One thing you never want to do with anxiety or anxiety head pressure is look up your symptoms. I did this for years and you would find an answer on WebMD <laughs> And it's like, oh, got to have that. I mean, the amount of diseases that I thought I had from it when you go down a rabbit hole is extreme. You think you have MS. You think you have brain cancer. You think you have some sort of muscle alignment. You have some sort of degenerative disease. You think you have some... I think I, I thought I had rabies at one point. Like all these crazy things that that just made no sense no sense at the end of the day and it's all anxiety and you have to really understand how greatly anxiety can affect your body and all the symptoms that it can produce you know and if you are unsure about it get tested go go get blood work and eventually and I've talked about this in videos before you got to take a leap of faith after a while you can't fixate on the symptoms you can't fixate on those things and and think okay i have all these problems and i'm gonna dive deeper you waste so much time we already waste so much time on your phone and you want to waste more on on how you're suffering it's, it's pathetic put the phone down don't look at the symptoms if you do think you have an issue go get tested I got tested several times. What did it give me? Temporarily, temporarily gave me relief, and then I was right back to it. You know, as soon as I got a new symptom. You're going to have symptoms that go all around your body. It's not just head pressure. That was just one of the main ones for me. I had pains and tingling and numbness in my hands. I had, like I said, pain in the head, head pressure, dull pains. Uh, I had digestive issues. I had um, dizziness here and there. Uh, I had, you know, major, major just mental fatigue, fatigue in general. All those symptoms are things of crazier, crazier things. Now, Everyone knows their body. Obviously, sometimes it feels different. And initially, when you deal with this, with panic attacks and stuff like that, it's like, there's no way this is anxiety. Absolutely no way. And there wasn't really much research back then when I was dealing with it, 2016, about specific things. All the YouTube algorithms were different as well. And, and so, you know, it was hard to look up that information. But I'm telling you, if you do have those symptoms, don't Google them. Go get tested and, and figure out a plan to get rid of them. You know, all these symptoms can go away. <laughs> pain is temporary. Eric Thomas with a famous pain is temporary. It could last for a minute, hour, a day, or even a year. But eventually it will subside. And I suffered for years. And it sucked. It absolutely sucked. But I'm a lot better now. I just got done with the workout. I'm feeling better. I'm in... Uh, a, a great relationship now. Uh, work is going solid. I've been trying to achieve financial freedom. I am working towards spending time with um, family. I already spend time with family, but doing it more and more as I have more time. You know, you can do this and you just have to commit. Um, and you have to you have to get rid of those bad habits. You know, phone is one of them. Symptoms is one of the huge ones uh, on your phone or on WebMD that is going to torture you endless, endlessly because it's never, it's always going to be a dead end. There's always going to be certain things and you're going to get so extreme. It's like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind here. So don't Google your symptoms. It's not the way. It is not the way. This is the way. It's getting better, healing yourself taking steps and actions and getting out and being active if you have anxiety. 
Hope you guys enjoy. Have a happy Friday. Please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.